There are three crucial cold email mistakes that hurt your deliverability and can result you landing in the spam folder. And it should be a priority to fix these mistakes ASAP because all of your results depend on great deliverability. You could have a great offer and an amazing lead list, but if you're landing in the spam folder, you're not going to generate any sales. That's why I'm about to share three cold email mistakes that might be hidden in the plain sight. So you could solve them, reach your prospects and generate thousands of dollars and opportunities. Now I can assure you, what I'm going to share isn't rocket science. These are simple checkups you can do right now that takes less than a minute, literally. And I'll be here with you, telling you exactly how to make sure you're not hurting your deliverability. And if you do, I'll tell you how to solve it ASAP. So if you don't have five minutes to spare to ensure your cold emails are generating the results you deserve, just like the video so you could come back to it later. Let's start. First, we have domain blacklists. This is one of the most common reasons why people go to spam. They do something naughty, end up in a blacklist and ruin all of their cold email efforts. But like I said, no rocket science. I'll explain this briefly. If you want to learn about domain blacklists in depth, I suggest watching this video. But now I'll quickly tell you how to check if you're in a domain blacklist and what to do to not join the domain blacklist mafia. To check if you're in a domain blacklist or not, simply go to mxtoolbox.com and input your domain. That's it. Go. Do it now. It will show you if you're in a blacklist or not. I'm serious. Pause the video and do it now. I want to make sure all of you watching are actually benefiting from this. If you're not in a blacklist, hooray. If you're in some weird unpopular blacklist, it might not be super important. But if you're in any of the main ones, you're in trouble. You're gonna want to solve this. Truthfully, it's not worth the effort to try to get out of a blacklist. My honest suggestion is just to discard the domain and mailboxes that are blacklisted and just spin up a new one. After all, nowadays you can do it in minutes with MailForge or InfraForge, so that will save you a lot of time and effort, probably even money too. Now to make sure you don't end up in a blacklist in the first place, you have to follow a few rules. I'll list them now. Just add a check mark in your head to make sure you comply with all of these rules. First, buy domains from reputable registrars, meaning GoDaddy is better than Namecheap. Second, clean your lead list so you're not sending emails to spam trap mailboxes. You can do that by running a lead list through an email checker. That's it. In the eyes of domain blacklisters, you're now a good guy. Second silly mistake that destroys your deliverability and ensures Shows you a spot in the spam folder lounge has to do with email copy. There are a couple of things in your email that act like a double-edged sword. Sword. Things like images, GIFs, or videos seem like a good idea to break patterns and stand out, but they actually demolish your deliverability. So as a rule of thumb, why is it a rule of thumb? Anyways, if you ever want to send anything other than text, just do it in the follow-up emails. Now let's talk about the text itself. If done wrong, it could also give you a ride to the spam folder town. If your email copy includes any commonly used spam words, there you go. A puffy beanbag is reserved for you to sit in in the spam room. That's it, gone. And even if you do not end up in the spam folder, all these keywords that are used in spam will be noticed by your prospect. So you're not getting a response either way. Now, just like before, I'm gonna hold your hand and guide you through everything. We're together in this. Let me help you fix it. To make sure you don't have any spam words in your email copy, just copy all of the text, go to Mail Meteor Spam Checker and paste it there. That's it. It will highlight any bad words. Really? Have you checked it yet? Go do it. I'm serious. Pause the video and check your email copy. Are we trying to get better deliverability or not? Okay. To fix the spam words, just replace them with synonym. Do it till none of the words are highlighted. Easy enough, right? Right? But we are not done yet. You also need to remove all the links from your email. Yep. Sending a booking link? Nope. Can't do that. Have a link in your signature? Has to go. Your email has to be clean, 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 pure. There shouldn't be anything that contaminates it. This applies to open rate tracking as well. Once you find a good subject line, turn open rate tracking off or any tracking in the matter. Open rate tracking adds a pixel to your emails, which further hurts your deliverability. So turn it off. Now we're on to the third problem that just like the previous ones will be fixed in minutes. Third mistake is not obeying email sending limits. What the hell are you doing trying to squeeze out a thousand emails from one mailbox per day. That's silly. The maximum amount of emails you should send per mailbox per day is 50. 50. 
20 emails go to warm up and 30 go for cold outreach. That's it. No, you cannot cheat the system and send more. Just like you can't carry 10 liters of water with two liter bottle. The same goes with email. You can send 1000 emails when your mailbox is set up for 30. And that's not all. Two mailboxes per domain. Yep, yeah, that's it. Another rule, two mailboxes per domain. Not 10, not 20, not 50. Two or three, sometimes you can do three. But for the best results, you want a maximum of two mailboxes per domain. Trust me, you're not saving any money if you cheap out and try to break these rules. All you do is sacrifice your deliverability and results to say what? $5? Less than that. With MailForge, one mailbox costs $3 a month. But don't worry, if you've been breaking these limits, there's an easy fix. Go to your email sending platform and change your mailbox limits. That's it. And ensure you don't have 103 mailboxes under one domain. Now, if you did everything I told you, you should enjoy the main inbox rather than the spam folder. Otherwise, I suggest re-watching the video and following the steps or watch something here. Peace!